Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So this morning, uh, gosh, time flew by. We were having so much fun talking about this movie. It was almost an hour we were talking about this movie. Uh, the movie, by the way, is called Leave the World Behind. It's a Netflix movie that was actually produced by Obama's company, Higher Ground. We, we kid you not. Uh, and you're welcome to watch it either on Evolutionary. Uh, you can watch, I mean, not the Netflix movie, our video. I should clarify. <laughs> the Netflix movie, as far as I know, is just on Netflix. Um, although people always hack things and post them elsewhere, so you might be able to find it somewhere else. Um, but you could watch here on Patreon uh, as we are showing. And again, we want to thank our Patreons for their support. Or you could watch it on our uh, Rumble, Brighty, and BitChute as far as our commentary on the movie or EE Arts as well. Mm, it was all about a cyber attack. And what do we got going today? A cyber attack. Yeah, this is an absolutely massive Chinese cyber attack on the U.S. and it's growing rapidly. Many experts saying they've never seen an attack of this magnitude. Ah, uh, yes, there's been a lot of cyber attacks. Uh, I do think, though, we are heading into new territory as we are creeping closer to 2024. Hang on tight for 2024. That's all I could say about that. Let's listen to this Fox News update. China's People's Liberation Army have infiltrated critical services here in the U.S. But Zero Hawkins is now from our nation's capital. Alex, this is not good. No, it's not. I mean, this infiltration appears to be part of a broader effort to insert chaos into our logistical systems. The information collected could then be weaponized if the U.S. and China were to become engaged directly in the Pacific. According to reporting from the Washington Post, setting multiple U.S. and industry security officials, China's cyber army, army is invading critical U.S. services, like an attempt to break into the system behind Texas's independent power grid. Other victims include a water utility in Hawaii, a West Coast port, and at least one oil and gas pipeline. According, According to that, that report, report you're seeing there, there. Brendan Wells, Wells, executive director of the Department of Homeland Security, Security Cyber Security Agency, told the Washington Post this, quote, It is very clear that Chinese attempts to compromise critical infrastructure are in part to pre-position themselves to be able to disrupt or destroy that critical infrastructure in the event of a conflict, to either prevent the United States from being able to project power into Asia or to cause societal chaos inside the United States to affect our decision-making around a crisis. The report notes that over the past year, hackers affiliated with the People's Liberation Army in China have accessed the computer systems of about two dozen critical entities. Yeah, so as you can see, they are letting us know this. Uh, and this comes on the heels again of this movie, again, produced by Obama's. Basically, it's their company that produced it. They were referred to uh, for their opinions in this movie it's, it's right out there that they were consulted with their opinions what is the movie about well it's all about a hack it's a hack in the chaos that ensues and then ultimately it's it's about the end of the u.s as we know it isn't this coincidental that this comes out just now <laughs> at this time with everything that is going on in this world and don't forget you know i Hundreds of thousands of Chinese nationals, many of them fighting age males uh, and fighting age females. Let's not forget that as well. Uh, are been and have been coming across the border for some time. And the in increase in the amount, the percentage of them coming directly from China has been directly increasing. This is in San Diego at the Jacumba border. Large groups, military age Chinese men crossing illegally into California from Mexico. And it's been going on forever. I mean, there are tens and tens of millions of illegals in the country. I, I don't know where we're at now. I mean, I think a good estimate would be 20 to 40 million. 20 to 40 million illegal people in the country. Now, when you look at that, the U.S. population is 333 million in total. So maybe 10% of the population of the country uh, is in it illegally. And of course, that's not included in that 333 that they show us having right now. And that number is obviously uh, a 
mega symbol. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know. I'm looking at this and I see the officers that are like checking their paperwork. It looks like they all have some type of paperwork. So somebody understands the paper trail. They're obviously then letting this go. I don't know. I wouldn't mind talking to one of these officers who are allowing this to happen. I mean, how many have they seen go through? Do they report anything? Do they talk to anyone? Do they say uh, anything to anyone it's just so you know it, it's such a big deal but it's kept so secret it's weird because you know again uh it's come across that yeah these people are are being funded by the u period 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 n period 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 this this is what this is going on this is a, a big game of um, musical chairs, yeah, so to speak. And it, it involves tens of millions of people across the planet, maybe hundreds of millions. Yeah, I, I would say hundreds of millions of people safely, um, <coughs> easily, I should say, hundreds of millions of people across the planet. When is this going to pop? This is a bubble that keeps expanding. When is it going to pop? My guess is 2024. Uh, my guess is uh, by June or so. I mean, that's just what I'm feeling. And also uh, from the information that we have gotten through the guides and, and our meditations. As you see here, let's just stop this. Well, it's two, two minutes, 32 seconds long, so we won't play the whole thing. But again, these Chinese migrants have built sophisticated migration networks to make their way illegally into the U.S., they obviously contain CCP spies. Um, you know, this this is just, it, it goes from all the way in Colombia uh, and even beyond Colombia up through the Darien Gap into Panama, in, into Costa Rica, on up through uh, the rest of Central America and into Mexico. But it, it's not even just there. You know, this is global. As we had reported, you know, there are migrants from the Middle East that are used to desert conditions of 120 degrees in Iraq and, and in Syria and Afghanistan, and they're in Finland. How are they handling it? Well, they're in Finland. Hello? It, you know, this is obviously war. This is just prepositioning for war. This is Arizona, you know, just completely overwhelmed and and you know, we've seen massive campfires out there at night um again so many people from somalia and when you look at a lot of the nations these these african nations where a lot of the migrants are coming from are aligned with russia and china again have recently received lots of aid from russia and china again this is part of that shifting of the power structure is what it is as we see here, a taxi cab ride bringing five illegals cost $350 from Laredo to San Antonio. And they're everywhere. They're out in the streets. You know, people are getting um, accosted and in many different ways and attacked in, in many different ways in many different countries with this massive movement of humanity. And when you look at a lot of the nations that these people are coming from and coming in here, ooh, there's a hatred of the U.S. You know, because, again, you got a lot of people coming from Iraq. We had two wars over there. Syria, you know, there's still ongoing uh, clashes with U.S. troops. U.S. troops are in Syria. Afghanistan, of course, we understand that. Venezuela, hundred, oh, a couple hundred thousand minimum. Uh, have come from Venezuela, probably much, much higher than that figure. And the people of Venezuela suffered under, um, you know, basically economic hardship due, due really to the decision makers in the U.S. and other NATO nations uh, deciding to uh, not let goods and services go into that country. And we could go on and on. There's a lot of countries that hate the U.S. I mean, because the U.S. has been used as the the police force of the global cabal, so to speak. Cabal, deep state, whatever you want to call it. It, it really is a giant cartel that is a crime syndicate. And they just change their base of operations. What you see going on in Israel, as Israel used U.S. supplied white phosphorus and Lebanon attack, this is all basically to push the world to the brink, to push people over to over the edge where they will be screaming for revenge. And where are these people going to? 
if you look again, a lot of these people that are being squished out of Gaza are being shipped into NATO countries. And obviously, they're not really happy with the U.S. They're not really happy with Israel. So what, what's this all going to lead to? Well, it's going to lead to a lot of karma quick. And the reality is the average citizen in the U.S. hasn't directly hurt anybody uh, per se in any of these other nations and, and other people in, in these other nations haven't directly hurt us in the U.S. and the other NATO nations for the most part. It's the governments. The governments do this purposely. This is all the governments. As you see people here protesting saying, you know, stop bombing people. Stop killing people. Stop killing people. Why do the governments have unlimited money to kill people? And when it comes to helping people, they don't have the money. As you see, President Biden just pledged to shut down 60% of America's electric power we can see where this is all leading. And, and, and again, Kerry was, was saying, you know, we, we got to stop farmers from farming. Otherwise, we're going to have uh, starvation happening on the planet. Wait a minute. You just said we got to stop farmers from farming so much because otherwise the planet's going to starve? Uh, how stupid do you think we are? Obviously, they think we're pretty darn stupid. The reality is they want to give us some Soylent Green to eat every day. They want to give you, you know, uh, a bottle full of some green goo that they're going to say is all the nutrition you need. Who knows what's in that? Nanu, nanu. You remember that? Mork from Ork? Nanu, nanu. We live in a world that is made up of fake people, fake food, fake medicine, fake weather, fake news, fake history, fake plague upon the lands, fake revolution, fake spiritual. It's true. And, and it's all the product of the system that we are in. And, and we don't have to. We have individual choices. We don't need to sit here and, and take in all the fakeness. I mean, but, but we have to decide. It's, uh, we have, uh, it's like the biggest fork in the road anybody could ever find themselves in. And, and we need to decide. Yeah. And, and I am glad to see a lot of people waking up. We still have a long way to go. We still have a long way to go. And the reality is this is not the first time this has happened. This has happened many times, many, many times. But again, the planet is waking up and it seems like it's waking up faster than you know they would like. Absolutely. So the quicker we wake up and just say no to the system and I see people waking up and then they still do things and, and that show that they're still completely... Uh, asleep in another on another level and so we we really need to to say okay good now that you know that do you realize this and and keep awakening others it, it's really got to be such a priority for every single person that is awakening on this planet just we look back 125 years ago you know and some of the things that we didn't uh, necessarily have to get permission for, and we do now, it, it's just a byproduct of the cycle because as we come to the end of the cycle, they end up clamping down more and more and more. You know, some people have to, well, some people aren't allowed, period, to collect rainwater. You're, and, you know, you got to have a fishing license, go fishing. You never, never really own a property. Uh, because again, taxes, if you don't pay your taxes, they'll take it from you. There's eminent domain as well, where they could, government could, you know, say there is an emergency. We need your property. There's an emergency. We need your food. There's an emergency. We need your gas. We need your car. We need whatever. And they could even say there's an emergency and you're going to have to work in this chain gang. It's in law. They can force citizens to work. They can force us against in their laws. Now, we don't have to. <laughs> and then again, they'll start to arrest people. Like when they put their draft in, uh, there'll be a lot of people that say, no, I'm not going to go. And there will be other people that they will use to enforce their draft and put other people in jail. But it's a matter of how fast people wake up and say, no, no, we're not going along with this. We just say no. We, we, we don't have any personal beef with the people of any nation. It's the governments. So we see another bigger comet heading for the sun. 
you know, they've given us this science, and so we see what is easily and always termed comet, asteroid, meteor, and often it's not the case. It, it, this is how they hide ships. This is how uh, they hide things like ships going into the sun and utilizing the sun as a portal to come out in another complete uh, star system. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's so much they don't tell us about our good old sun that's right there. You know, I mean, you look at you look at the, the openings or, you know, the holes that are in the sun and they say, well, these are just these holes. But no, I mean, this is energy changing. These are vortexes that are opening up to bring in a whole different type of energy that's going to affect us and our bodies. You know, it's just how open are you going to be to it? I mean, we if we make ourselves receptive to the new energy, then we can we can get that <laughs> when you're aware of it. Yeah, and we can all new learn new things, and we could learn some old ways of doing things a little bit more hands on than maybe this uh, this society that we have ourselves currently in, and the society that will be uh, stuck in these cities if they choose to go that route into the 15 minute smart cities, cell cities. We could learn new ways, and some ways we'll be going back to the past. Indeed. <laughs> and then there's this little guy. He's um, kind of rearranging his own room here. Let's see. Oh, because he wants to be in the sun. So let's do what the kitty does and make sure we're out getting our sun every day. Definitely. Vitamin D, guys. Vitamin D. Much love. Source bless. Namaste.